you just don't know the trouble you are going to be exposed today. Ah, you know those areas that you can't move very far, and if we actually try to do what God is telling us to do, here comes the enemy. Here comes the trial. Here comes the tribulation. And as soon as the enemy tries to talk to you, you pull back from what God actually wants you to do. You have to remember, you got to tell sickness it was defeated at the cross. Yeah, right. Amen. You got to tell loneliness, insanity, rejection to go to the cross because the power was already stripped. Yes, amen. You just got to know the one that had released you yes. from this. Ah, let's Come on. Are we ready? No. Oh. Oh, hallelujah. I have to show up one more gift I got. <laughs> We're having fun today. This is a pouch to carry all the pretty things. Aww. This is a nice scarf. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, put it up. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Hey, I might go with your thing again. Oops. Mm. And some dangled leaf earrings, and my favorite of all. So there you go. Oh, yeah. 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 Amen. Right. Aren't you glad that you can bless the woman of God? Yep. Yes. Because when you bless Amen. the woman of God, you can be blessed Amen. Yep. with that anointing she carries. Yep. Not that she's going to give it to you. That's but right. The Lord's yep. going to That's right. It That's, right. Yes. That's right. That's right. That's right. Ready? Yeah. Amen. All right. Yes. Yeah. That's funny as fire. You're ready. <laughs> Amen. Oh, thank you. Um, no, no, no. I'm going to say. Okay. I had to take the scarf off because I'm, you know, it's it's just a, it, it'll help me preach better. Yeah. <laughs> it'll, it'll, it'll be a little more comfortable. Right, right, right. <laughs> Thank, well, thank you for all the gifts. What a beautiful presence of the Lord here. There's such a tender, sweet presence of the Lord today yes, here. Amen. And I, I was in the back room just almost crying <laughs> because of the precious uh, presence of the Lord here today. Um, Pastor Shirley, oh, are you running sound? Okay. Well, thank you, Pastor Shirley, for having me this morning. It's really an honor for you and Pastor Pete to invite us here this weekend, and especially to hold this women's conference here this morning. I'm really honored, and and I really love you, Pastor Pete, <laughs> and you're great people. And I just want you all to give your pastors, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, just a hand clap of appreciation. Mm -hmm. for you. They are wonderful people. And I am really honored. Yes, amen. So um, can you... I'm going to need a little more volume on my, because I'm going to sing. Huh? Yeah, on the mic. Yeah, on the mic, yeah. Um, and we didn't do a sound check or anything this morning. The song starts, yeah, that's good. It starts out the track kind of, um, you know, faint. So just go ahead and start the track. It gets louder as it goes. I need to be able to hear it. But anyway, I just want to, I'm Jill Strom. My, my husband and I are Hutch and Jill Strom of Harvest Fire International. We're from the Tampa, Florida area region, we went to the River Bible Institute, and years ago, um, I just told you the story, we left everything, we went on a little vacation and wound up enrolling in Bible school and left everything, our house, our dog, his business, years ago, and we had nothing, and God supplied a place to stay, clothing to wear there, you know, they had to wear special things, and even found a home for our little dog, Bubby. <laughs> and it was like Abraham leaving his land, you know, to, to pursue the things of God, the promised land that he had for him. And so um, through that, he put this fire on us, this soul winning anointing, this we're carriers of his glory. And we came to impart it to you. And uh, uh, just, just a second, just a second. And, um, and so I just want to tell you um, who we are, and we live in Dunedin, Florida today. And uh, But I came here today just to give you Jesus. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, crank that up, please.
I mean, just the hair out of there. If a ship of your life is tossing on the sea of strife, you need someone. If you feel so all alone and your house is not a home, you need someone. If you feel life isn't fair and there's no one left to share all oh, those lonely days and nights when things just won't turn out right and you want someone to care and someone to just be there you need someone I give you Jesus, he's the peace that passes all understanding, I give you Jesus, he's the perfect love that casts out all Your spirit to the ground needs someone. If your body is in pain and your health you can't regain, you need someone. Yes, you do. If there are times that you have tried, with all the strength you had inside And it seems that you have failed Remember all of the cross he made All the bitterness and grief To give you peace and sweet relief For he is that someone that you need So I give you Jesus He's the peace that passes all understanding. I give you Jesus. He's the perfect love, the cast in My 
just love Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, you know, God is a good God. There is nothing bad about him. Can you give me a little more vine, please? And uh, he is absolutely good. There is no shadow of turning in him. There is nothing he can even do bad, even if he tried, because it's not in his nature. That's he can't right. do it. Come on. I'll give you some water. And so, you know, when you love somebody, you want to take care of them yes. and make sure that they're whole. You don't want them to suffer. You don't Amen. want them to go without. You don't want them to lack. And so our God is a good father. Yes. He's a good, good father. Amen. And today we're going to talk about something that I don't know if a lot of people talk about. They talk about it in different ways. But this is a way you've probably never heard about it before. And uh, we're talking. We're going to talk about being whole in your soul, because there's a lot of wounded people walking out uh, around yeah, here, yeah. around yeah, here, so uh, wounds and things that we don't even know about, perhaps. And God wants your soul to be whole. Yeah. And um, Third John two says, "Beloved, I wish above all things." that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers. So that's in there for a reason. Amen. <laughs> so if, we, if we're the walking wounded, how can we help anybody else? People are just going to see our baggage. And, and we can't be whole. You know, Jesus paid the 100% price for us to be whole. And a lot of sicknesses and diseases and problems that we have functioning today are because of the wounds and the things in our soul. Mm -hmm. So today, we're going to get them out. <laughs> Come on. We're going to do some soul Come cleansing because the Father needs for you to be whole. He has work for you to do. He wants you to affect your friends, your relatives, you know, your co-workers, you know, he wants for you to, to you know, um, glorify what Jesus did, that Jesus would be glorified, and that he would get everything that he paid for for you. So today we're going to get rid of some junk. And if you were to take a book, you know, the soul is a beautiful thing. If you were to take a hardcover book and put the covers back to back, you would see the pages of that book stand out. Mm -hmm. And that's what your soul looks like. It looks like pages on a book. And each layer is a transparent image of you. Isn't that kind of freaky? <laughs> <laughs> Weird and wonderful all at the same time. You didn't know that, did you? And so <clears throat> in between those layers are spaces. And everything that you take into your life, whether you say it, whether you hear it, whether you read it, whether you watch it, uh, you know, overhear it, you know, is deposited in, into those layers and between those layers into those spaces in your soul. And, it, you know, even traumas that have happened to us, things that we've seen, you know, that might have been frightening or traumatic, it's all in there. Every book you've read, every movie you've watched, everything is in your soul. So, um, so whatever you're putting in your soul is what you're feeding it. So, garbage in, garbage out, right? If you're watching horror movies, well, no wonder, you know, you can be afraid, you know, or people get weird watching these things, you know, because they're, they're taken in darkness and fear. That's what they're doing. And so it's like you are what you eat, right? <laughs> so whatever you're feeding soul, your soul is what you're going to become. You know, if somebody's watching R-rated movies, that's going to get in their soul. And they're going to start thinking that way. Amen. If, if somebody's 
continually in the word, that's going to get in their soul. <laughs> right? And they're going to become more like God. So it's really important, you know, to keep a guard on our eyes and our ears and watch who we're around, what, you know, what we're saying, what we're exposing ourselves to, and what we're doing. Because everything's going in there. That's why God said, guard your hearts with all diligence. And that's why bad company can corrupt good company, because after a while, it gets in our soul. That's why, <laughs> you know. So anyway, so, you know, many people, um, they're walking around with a lot of grief and hurt and regret and wounds. And um, it, it affects our mind, our will, and our emotions. So once we cleanse it and get it out of there, then, then it's gone and we're free. And then we can be more like God because that junk is gone. And nobody wants to carry your own baggage. <laughs> it's terrible. It's bondage. So, so anyway, it's really easy to get rid of. It's really very easy to get rid of. Now, everybody has a different number of layers in their soul. Some people only have four. You know, those are those people that are real stoic and they're not emotional. <laughs> <laughs> No, but they're real, they're real, usually real state and everything. And God created those layers that way because he wants to use them. So every person is different in how they move in life and affect others. We all have, you know, like maybe only you can affect certain people and I can't because of the way you are, because of the way God made you. So God wants to use those layers of your soul and how he created you. And then other people have maybe hundreds, even up to thousands of layers in their soul. And, and they're real expressive and demonstrative and everybody knows they're there. You know, the real colorful people, you know, usually it's the Mexican and, um, and, you know, the black people. They have more of these layers in their soul. They're more expressive, you know. So, <laughs> you know, God made us all that way. Different. And so... Um, Okay, so, okay, so, and I, I, um, so whatever you enter into enters into you, right? Whether it be the things of God, yep. the things of the world, mm -hmm. or things the enemy has put out there for you to partake of, yep. if you, as an act of your will, choose to partake of it, good, bad, or ugly, you know, it is deposited into your soul. So, like I said, it's very easy to get it out. There's only one requirement, is that you want it out. Amen. Because you have a will. And you use your will to get it there. And you can use your will to get it out of there. <laughs> And God is accelerating deliverance and it, yep. right now. Yep, yep. This oh, is the, this yep. is the kingdom age. Yep. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of ways to be cleansed and healed, but this is like a one stop shop. It's yep. so fast and it's so easy. Yep. And and God is revealing this now because He wants us whole. Yes, He amen. wants us free. He yep. doesn't want us walking around with baggage. That's right, he wants man. us to Come be on. able to, Come on. you know, be free. And affect others in the right way. Amen. Yeah. He wants for your soul, he wants for you to know how to make your soul whole and, and how to prosper. So again, 3 John 2 says, Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. So your soul has to be free first in, in order for everything else to prosper, for you to be healed, you know, for you to receive the things of God and walk in the fullness that he has for you. And so Jesus gave us the keys to the kingdom. And that's what we're going to use today to get rid of this junk in our souls. He said in Matthew 6, 19, 16, 19, he said, I will give you the keys of the kingdom. 
Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. So, um, you know, when we do this, you're going to, you know, you can lose anything. You can call anything. You can call addictions out. You can call grief out. You can call darkness out. You can call pain out. You can call fear out. All these things are going to go. And a lot of times, you know, symptoms from our body will leave. Uh, our minds will be cleared out. People, you know, getting therapy or having, you know, mental problems or nightmares, whatever. These things will go because your soul is made up of of your mind, your will, and your emotions. So whatever is in there is affecting you, you know? And then once, like I said, once you get it cleaned out, you're going to be more like God. You're going to be free. So um, so let's all stand up. We're going to do this together. So... Uh, So what we're going to do, your will is going to start making the right choices and yes. continue to make the right choices. Yes. And your emotions are going to reflect yes. that and display yes. God. Yes. It, it will no longer display anger, oppression, fear, rejection, or any of that stuff if you learn how to do this and keep doing it. You're going to use your will to loose it and get it out, and it cannot say no to you. And why? Yes. Why? Because Jesus said yes. that whatever you loose on earth is loose in heaven. Now, most of us use the binding key to bind the devil, and that's fine. But, uh, and that's the only key that they use. But we're going to use the keys today and do it all. <laughs> we can freely use that loosing key to loose all the stuff that has been deposited in our soul that we want out. Amen. Okay. So, so, okay, so say this after me. Father, Father is an act of my will. Whatever is in my life, whatever deposits were made in my soul, if it's not from you, it's it's not from from you. you. I don't want it there. I don't, I don't want, want it there. If I made wrong choices, if I made wrong choices, choices today it's going to be made right. Today it's going to be made right. There is therefore now, there is therefore now, no condemnation, no condemnation to those who are, who are in Christ Jesus. To those who are in Christ Jesus, He is showing me how to be free. He is showing me how to be free. So now. So, so now, now the act of my will, act of my will I choose to lose I choose to lose any darkness, any darkness, any addiction, any addiction, any anger, any abuse, any abuse, and any oppression, any abuse, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go from me now. Go from me now. Go from me now. Go. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go. Go from me now. Go from me now. Go. So I'm just gonna wait a minute. You can feel waves of it coming out. Okay, so we're going to do a few more here. Father, Father is an act of my will. Is an act of my will. I choose. I choose to lose any fear. To lose any fear. Any grief. Any grief. Any traumas, any traumas, and any wounds, and any, any wounds, and anything of the enemy, and anything of the enemy, regardless of how it got there, regardless of how it got from there, my soul, from my soul, leave me now, leave, leave me now, now. In, Jesus in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Thank you, See, heaven comes and pulls it out when you do that. That's why you start, you're going to start to feel waves of things coming out. You're going to start feeling lighter and freer. <laughs> How many feel a difference already? Oh, yeah. Yeah. See that? And you can do this anytime. You're not limited. You can do this 24-7. You're not limited. That's right. In fact, you know, like if you're around 
um, strife or something like that, yeah. for example, all you got to do, I mean, you can do it like if you hear people arguing and causing strife, yeah. just turn around and say, Father, I choose to lose that strife yeah, off my soul in Jesus', Jesus name. name. You Jesus can do it anywhere, anytime, yep. any yes. wolves, yep. any ugly words people yep. have said to you. Yep. Or if you, if you watch these, um, you know, goofy commercials, you know, by, I lose that darkness off my soul yeah. right yeah. now yeah. in yeah. Jesus' yeah. name. Just, yeah. see, just get yeah. used to doing it. You don't give it any yeah. place. That's because right. if, if you leave wounds and Jesus. darkness and things Thank in place, Jesus. It, and, it, and it gets layered into your soul yes, like Jesus. a lot. I mean, it yep. can give the enemy a base to yep. operate on. Come on. It can. Come on. He, will, he will try to use that. Yes. And, and um, so it's important to, to, yes. to be aware of what's going on around you at all yes. times. That's right. Yes. Okay. So, all right. So now, um, like I said, you can name every, anything at any time and it'll go. Okay, so now we're, what we're going to do is talk about something a little stronger about soul ties we've made yes. to persons, places, and things that yes. shouldn't be there. That's right. Now, um, <laughs> if, if you made a soul tie with another person who is not your spouse, or if you had an abusive relationship and that person is not in your life anymore, we're going to break the soul tie yes. and get it out. Yes. Because the reason that people who have been abused wind up with more people yes. who are abusive to them That's is right. because it's in their soul. Yep. That's right. It's That's in right. there. See, the enemy uses yep. that to attract them to the same people over and over right. again because yeah. it's in your soul. Yeah. So we're going to get that out today. So... <clears throat> So what happens when you have sex with somebody is you get a layer of their soul and they yep. get a layer of your soul. Yep. That's what happens. So um, so we're going to break that right now. So say this with me. Say, Father, Father as an act of my will, I choose to lose, to lose any layers, any layers of anybody's soul, of anybody's soul that I retain. That I retain. I lose it now. I lose it now. And send it back. And send it back in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Who just felt something loose off their soul? Who's who's feeling those waves? <laughs> Okay, so you're not whole until you have all the layers of your soul yes. back yes. that God gave you, whether it be four or a yes. million, because <laughs> yes. he, he gave them all to you. So, again, 3 John 2 says, Beloved, I wish above all yes. things that you would prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. So we're prospering our soul today by getting rid of the yes. junk, getting rid of other people's deposits yes. in their Come souls, on. and calling the layers of our yes, soul Lord. back so we can be whole. So say this with me. Say, Father, Father as an act of my will, act of my will I, choose I choose to call back, to call all, back all the layers of my soul that I gave to people, to people places, places, or things. Or things. In, Jesus In Jesus' name, Jesus come back. Come, come back. back. You know, some people have been set free of homosexuality just by doing these things because what they did is is um, that spirit was broken uh, from the deposit they made, you know, uh, when they did that, when they gave themselves to that. So remember, whatever you enter into enters into you. That's why you can't go into R-rated movies. You know that demons in the spirit, basically demons, uh, throw up on people as they walk in. Yeah. We don't know these things that, that are going on in this spirit, on. you know? So, okay, so, okay, so say this after me, because your soul cannot prosper until it's whole. Yes. So we're, we're, 
We're making it right today, so say this with me. Father, Father, my soul is whole. My soul is whole. Now my soul can prosper. Now my soul can prosper. So now what we're going to do is receive deposits from the Father. Yes. We're going to bind things from the Father to our souls. We're going to use that binding key yeah. now. And, and you can um, either say it like, <clears throat> Father, I bind whatever you want from him to your soul, or just say, Father, I receive deposits of whatever you want from him yeah. to your soul. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So just say this with me, Father, Father, right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Jesus I receive, I receive deposits, deposits of your love, of your love. <laughs> and your life and your life you know receiving deposits of his love and his life can make you whole right there hey, hey, right there hey. <laughs> and set you free yes. your yes. creativity your creativity your peace your peace your prosperity, your prosperity and your healing and your, your healing. healing i receive them now i receive them now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus thank you lord thank you lord praise you jesus thank you jesus now say this, Father. Father, I want downloads. I want downloads of your peace. Of your peace and your fire. And your, your fire, fire to consume my soul. To consume my soul. soul. So bring it down now. So bring it down. Run it off. Run it off. Run it off. Jesus Run it off. Jesus Jesus name. Name. Overflow. <laughs> See, there's a lot of healing taking place right now. And you know, by the way, this is not limited to just believers. This is these are the keys of the kingdom. They worked on a girl who was not saved who was suicidal and her boyfriend had left her, you know, and, and he was unsaved and became suicidal. And then after we after all these things were loosed off her soul, she it was like it never happened. Yes, amen. So it like it never happened, you know. Jesus. Jesus. But, but you can have a testimony about how Jesus set you free and then hey. do this with others. See how easy it is? <laughs> God didn't make things hard for That's us. That's right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sir. Okay, so say this. <clears throat> Father, Father, thank you, thank you that you love me enough that you love me enough to bring revelation to bring revelation that will change my life that will change my life and others and others and now and now I will prosper I will prosper and that means that means I will prosper that I will prosper and be in health and be in health. In this age, in this the age, the kingdom will be established. The kingdom will be established. Heaven, heaven is invading the earth. Is invading, invading the earth. earth. Heaven, heaven is invading my life. Is invading my life. Is invading my home. Is invading my home. Is invading my finances. Is invading my finances. And invading my gift. And invading my gift. And invading my family. And invading my family. Restoration. Restoration is coming to me. Is coming to me and my household. And my household. All those family members. All those family members. That ran from you. That ran from you. That laughed at you. That laughed at you. Yeah. You know, you know, fun is a weapon. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah. 
That's right. Come on. Come on, 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 Come Okay, and the more you do it, the better it gets. Yes. Be familiar with it, and the easier it becomes, and you can help others. It's so much fun. Yeah. Okay, so let we're gonna keep talking here. So, yes. Father, Father, you want me empowered. You want me empowered. You don't That's right. want me filled with darkness. You don't want me filled with darkness. You want me filled with your light. You want me filled with your light. So I can be a torch. So I can be a torch in the midst of darkness. In the midst of darkness. Come on. Because yes. you know how and we know there's darkness all around us. Gross That's darkness, right? Yeah. right? Yeah. It's yeah. everywhere. Yeah. So we're gonna torch it and get yeah. it out. Amen. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Yes. So say this after me, Father. Father, Father I repent. I, I repent. repent for any darkness. For any, any darkness, darkness that I have allowed. That I have allowed in my soul. In my soul. For any darkness. For any darkness that was deposited. That was deposited when I was a child. When I was a child. Even anything I am not aware of. Even anything, anything that I'm not aware, aware of. Whether I remember it or not. Whether I remember it or not. You know what it is. You know, you what, know it what it is. is. So I choose now. So I choose now. To act with my will. To act with my will. will. In my right mind. In my right, mind. In my right mind. mind. To loose. To loose. Any darkness. Any darkness. From my soul. From my soul. Whether it's a person. Whether it's a person. A place. A place. Or a thing. Or a thing. And I lose any layers. And I lose any layers. Of anyone else's soul. And anyone, anyone else's, else's soul, soul that I have retained. That I retained over the years. Over the years. Right now. Right, right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Go for my soul. Go for my soul. Hallelujah. It's gone in Jesus' name. Yes. And Father. Father, is an act of my will. Is an act of my will. In my right mind. In my right mind. According to your word. According to your word. I choose. I choose to call back. To call back any part of myself. Any part of myself. To any darkness. I gave to any darkness. And to any person. And to any person. I gave a layer of my soul. I gave a layer of my soul that was not of you. That was not of you. I call it back now. I call it back now. Jesus name. Jesus, Jesus name. Jesus name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Those waves. Yeah. Freedom. Thank you, Jesus. Freedom. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Okay, so Father. Father, I thank you that I am whole. I thank you that I am whole. My soul is whole. My soul is whole. Give me downloads. Give me downloads. Of your revelation. Of your revelation. Of who you are. Of who you are. Into my soul. Into my soul. And any of your word. And any of your word. I have read. And I have read. Layer it. Layer it. Throughout my soul. Throughout my soul. And make it come alive. And make it come alive. And download. And download. The joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord. In my soul now. In my soul now. Fill me with your joy. Fill me with your joy. Thank you for it. Thank you for it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Joy of the Lord. Joy of the Lord.
says that the Lord of heaven laughs. Yes. Yes. He knows yes. what is the God. He laughs yes. at all the evil doers yes. who are yes. mocking him. Yep. Yep. And when he laughs, he sets the enemy in derision. Yes. Yes. So when we release yes. that laughter, yes. that's what we're doing. Yes. 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 Yes.
you, Jesus. Come on, sister. What's happening? Tell us what's happening. She was ha having a spirit scream at her to tell her to run. And then as she was starting to speak those things that you were telling her, uh, all of a sudden it lumped up here like pain and it was bringing such great pain on her mm -hmm. and the spirit of loss of a baby just really really yeah. went to the root come on so, hey getting from the Lord. I'm just going to pray for everybody. <laughs> can, you, can you put on a little soft music in the sound booth there? Just a little soft music. Okay, so I'm just going to go down the line and, and just t give, give everybody, just lay hands on everybody. Uh, and and just, just uh, when I pray for you, don't don't be praying because you can't talk and, and drink water at the same time. <laughs> so, <laughs> go and, and, and don't think, just drink. Just You receive from your spirit, not your head. So, um, so that way you'll be able to get what the Lord has for you. So are there any... Anybody to catch you? Yeah, yeah, we're, uh, we're behind oh, them. Okay. We're already behind them. So we're you. Yeah. yeah, you can always just um, go sit in a chair too if you want to fall. Just back up into the chair after I pray for you. But there's people behind you to catch you. Okay, just lift your hands to heaven where your help comes from. You guys ready back there? You guys ready back there? Yep. Jesus, Jesus, right now. Just take that. Just take that away. <laughs> Jesus, just touch her, Lord. Fill with your Holy Spirit. Fill, 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 fill. Right? She's going. Yeah, fill, fill. Just don't be right there. Okay, Jesus, right now, just touch her, Lord. Your fire. Yes, fire. Your fire right now, in Jesus' name. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Jesus, your fire. Touch her with your fire, Lord. Your fire. <sighs> just take that. Yeah. Receive with your spirit. Are you here for prayer? And lift your hands to heaven, honey. Jesus is going to touch you today because he loves you so much. Yeah. Jesus, just touch this little body. Your precious little joy. Just touch him, Lord. Let her never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Hey, fire! 
This is where Jane is. Jesus. Just touch her. Just touch her. Tell her. Tell her, Mom. Tell her. Yeah, with your love. Fill her with your love today, Lord. Your only holistic love. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Fire. <laughs> Filled. <laughs> hey, just fill with your fire right now. Just take that. <laughs> Way go.
Somebody get behind the system. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. So now that we're all filled with the fire and joyful and we know how to be free, we're just going to celebrate our victory and continue on in it and give it to others. Let's advance the kingdom. Let's be a blessing to others. You know, it comes from the scripture where God told Abraham he was blessed. And he was going to bless the nations. And out of that, you know, we say that we were born to be blessed and born to be a blessing. We need to bless others around us. Let our light shine. Let's advance the kingdom. His kingdom is always advancing. Oh, and we're a part of that. And this is the kingdom age when God is going to display his power like never before. And he wants to use us. We're his covenant children. We're his covenant people. We're the light shining on a hill. We're his hands and his feet and his mouth. Thank you, Jesus. It's so take it, man. It's so easy. It's so easy. It's so fun and it's so easy. And God will be glorified. And he will reward you. 
Your life will be so rich and so full and so yes. much fun. Amen. Not that there are challenges and things. That, that just comes with a turn. But you just squash the devil under your feet yes. and say, no, not today, devil. Not today. Not tomorrow. Not ever. If you take care of God's business, He'll take care of yours. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. First. Put Him first in everything you do. And all these things will be added up to you. Yes, they it's are. God first. That's right. First Jesus. in your life, <laughs> in your finances, in your time. You know, I heard recently we're supposed to give them a tithe of our time every day. I, I've never heard that before. Kevin Zeta, I think, said. Yeah, he said it. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> a time of our time every day. <laughs> so anyway, can you put the giving the giving slide up? Who's ever running the sound or who's ever doing that? Oh. Oh, she's Oh, okay, never no, stay right there. <laughs> So we're going to receive the morning offering for the Harvest Fire International. We received one for the church earlier. But, you know, it's really important to put God first in your giving and your finances. Because he looks at our stewardship and how we handle everything in our lives, our time and our resources. And we need to put God first in our resources. And, and watch what happens. <laughs> watch and bless your life and multiply it back. Yes, amen. Oh, that's so true. Amen. Yeah. It ain't just give. It's it's giving and receiving. Amen. It's sowing and reaping. When you sow into God's kingdom, he's going to give it back to you, multiply you, 30, 60, and 100 fold. You. So, the, uh, I'm going to talk here out of Matthew. 6, 19 through 21. <laughs> Just keep laughing. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> this is from the Passion Translation. <clears throat> so this is uh, Matthew <laughs> 6, 19 through 21. And it says, <laughs> it says, don't keep hoarding for yourselves earthly treasures Amen. that can be stolen by thieves. Yeah. Material wealth eventually rusts, decays, and loses its value. Yeah. Don't end that the truth. Instead, stockpile heavenly treasures for yourselves that cannot be stolen and will never rust, yeah. decay, or lose their value. Yeah, geez, yeah. For your heart will always pursue what you esteem as your treasure. Yeah. So that's why we, when we put God in his kingdom, advancing his kingdom first, we're putting our treasure where our heart is. And he honors that and multiplies it back to us amen. because we're putting our king first yes. amen. and his business right. and what his agendas and what he wants to do on this earth. There's a lot of work to do on this yeah, earth. There is. That's right. And he needs you to participate with yes. him. Yes, yes, amen. Keep going. Keep and you going. can never outgive God. That's the right. seed right. that leaves your hand today yeah. will never leave your life. It goes into your future. Amen. That's right. And when you sow into the anointing, you reap from it. For God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows <clears throat> is what he, what will, he reap. will reap. 
And that only is what he will reap. So when you sow into the anointing, you're going to reap from that anointing. And it'll just keep being multiplied back to you over and over and over again. So again, this is the... Uh, this is another version of it. It says, do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. <clears throat> but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, that's where your heart will be also. So, you know, if I could look through your checkbook, you know, I would see where your treasure is. Um, you know, it would be, you know, at maybe Elder Beerman's, Red Robin, <laughs> Marshall's, <laughs> and whatever, you know. I mean, we live our lives and things, and we do things. But how many, how many transactions are to the work of God? Where is it? I can tell by looking at a person's checkbook where their treasure is and where their heart is. <laughs> How much are we really giving to God and to advance his kingdom on earth? We give about probably maybe 40% of our income away and about every third transaction is to the church or to a ministry or uh, we give money out to help somebody that doesn't have groceries or, you know, we give meals out. You know, us personally. Not, you know, just touch an eye. And, you know, just walking around in life. We see people with needs, and we say, Amen. hey, you need some money? Here, have some. Here, you need some food? Have some. And I love fixing meals for people, you know, and just blessing them. So, again, we're born to be blessed and to be a blessing. All we need to do is look up, look around us and see the need. And God will touch your heart. God will touch your heart on who you're supposed to give to and who you're supposed to bless and who you're supposed to minister. I mean, obviously it's not everybody all the time, you know. We can't do that. But he'll touch your heart. And, you know, he who lends to the poor, <laughs> lends to the Lord. Amen. Yeah. And it's the Lord that will repay. That's right. Yeah. And that's a whole different level of giving. Amen. You know, <laughs> that's a whole different Jesus. Level, level of giving. When you lend to the poor, these people are broken down and disgusted and busted. They don't have anything. They're just barely getting by. And the Lord loves that. That's right. When you're a blessing to a person that doesn't have anything, Jesus. and he will repay you. Yes, he he yes, himself Jesus. will repay you, you from out of his treasury. So let's bow our heads. <clears throat> Father, I just ask <coughs> that you bless the gifts and the givers today. Yes, Lord. Father, I know that you have a specific harvest in mind for each person here. And I just ask you, Father, that you would touch their hearts you, and speak to each one what you would have them to give today. Because when you have a specific <coughs> amount in mind, you have a specific harvest in mind for them. So I bless the seeds and the sowers today with increase multiply it back to them 30, 60, and 100 fold. Yes, and Father, I just release the blessing and the favor of God upon them now. Let them increase and multiply yes, and accelerate in it like never before. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So you can go ahead and however you receive the offerings here, just bring your gifts up. And do you have a little song you can play? Do you have a little song they can play while they're bringing their gifts?